evening. Tonight I'm here to share with you something I've learned just recently that is going on right here in Phoenix, Arizona. We were taught in school that slavery ended with the 13th Amendment. Oh, sorry. <laughs> then why are our teens being forced and coerced into modern day slavery? The child sex slavery industry is growing right here. I believe it's because not enough of us are aware of what is taking place, and I want to change that tonight. Awareness is our biggest weapon that we have to fight this crime. That is why I feel so passionately about giving this presentation here tonight. I want to get the word out to as many people as I can, and then I want all of you to do the same thing. The U.S. Department of Justice estimates that 293,000 American youth fall, are, are, are at risk for falling victim to this trade every year. Some of these are runaways and abandoned youth, but not all of them are. Have you ever heard the story of Jade? She's given the name Jade to protect her identity. They call her the dog cage girl. Her and her friend were leaving her parents' house one night. When she got into the car, her friend duct taped her wrists together. Then, a man named Matthew, who was driving the car, brought her back to his house in Phoenix. There, he held a gun to her head, and he threatened to pour acid on her young sister if she didn't cooperate or if she tried to escape. That night, she was raped by four to five adult men. For 42 days, she was held captive and she was threatened. Daily, she was forced to have sex with adult men. Oh, sorry, this is hard. <laughs> Another teen was at the mall. Her name was Melanie. She was with some friends. Her and her friends were there, and they met some guys. And these guys approached them. They looked nice. They were older, and they flirted with them. They exchanged phone numbers with them. Later on, Melanie and her friends were invited to their house. When, before, things, before they could realize it, things got pretty bad. And these guys drove Melanie and her friends to California, back to Arizona, to confuse them of where they were. They ended up putting Melanie out on the street to sell herself. In 2005, there was a pimp that was in here in Phoenix that had five different girls working for him. They were between the ages of 11 to 17. There was padlock and bars so they couldn't escape. Here's another fact. The average age of a girl going into prostitution in Phoenix is just 13 years old. Do you remember being 13? What was your biggest fear? I know mine was nothing what these youth go through. And I say youth because the more I researched, the more I found out that girls are not the only ones that are victims to this. There's teen boys also, and their average age is between 11 to 13. Won't you help them? First, you may ask, how can I help them? Well, first, get on Twitter, get on Facebook. Do whatever you need to do to just get the word out. Make all of your friends aware of what is taking place. Then, if you know some teens, if you have teens, caution them about what is going on. Warn them not to give out their phone number so carelessly. Encourage them to not go to the mall and believe everything that a cute guy might tell them. There are many organizations that are forming here in Phoenix that are trying to help these girls. One of them is Streetlight. They'll be opening up their doors to take in these girls that have been rescued from this industry. They'll have an alternative to going to jail. At Streetlight, they'll be given a safe place to eat, I mean, sorry, safe place to live, food to eat, and they'll be given an education. There, there'll also be a daycare in case any of these girls have children. They'll be given hope for a new life. I want to encourage you all that we can all do something. Streetlight will need volunteers, but if you can't give your time, they'll also need money. We can all do something. So I encourage you, let's be the voice for our youth and show them that we care. Um, I put some websites here that you can go and check out. There's traffickingaz.org, notforsaleaz.org, streetlightphoenix.com, and my email is tammygodin at gmail.com. You can't learn everything about this topic in just five minutes. So I encourage you to go home, do some research, and find out more about it. And then afterwards, if you want to talk to me, I'll be glad to talk to you about whatever and answer any questions you have. Um, if I don't know the answers, I'll find someone who does. Don't let there be another story like Jade or Melanie out there. Let's work together to show our youth that we care. Thank you.